as enterprise digital transformation deepens, enterprise services are becoming increasingly diversified, leading to more and more network challenges. For enterprises, different kinds of services need to be isolated from each other, given that they require different bandwidth guarantees. And when network congestion occurs, key services such as voice services must remain unaffected. So non-key applications with heavy traffic flows, like video security service, must be prevented from preempting bandwidth. To handle this, Huawei's SD-WAN solution provides a full range of queues capabilities, implementing different bandwidth guarantees for diverse services. For example, when services of multiple departments or service systems need to be isolated, and bandwidth needs to be limited for different services or applications, hierarchical queues H -queues, can be used to set link bandwidth. The proportion of different service VPN traffic on that link and the application traffic volume in the service VPN in order to implement bandwidth allocation. In addition, using application traffic bandwidth guarantee, bandwidth is reserved for high priority applications. Other lesser applications are not allowed to overwhelm traffic bandwidth. Elsewhere, Application traffic shaping proactively adjusts the rate of traffic sent from an interface. To limit the rate of non-key applications with heavy traffic loads, fixed bandwidth can be set based on specific applications. If network traffic congestion occurs due to burst traffic, traffic shaping ensures that irregular traffic is transmitted at an even rate, resolving network traffic congestion. In more detail, how are these queues capabilities set up? This is how to set up the proportion of different service VPN traffic using H queues. In step one, multiple virtual networks, VNs, are created. In this example, VPN1 and VPN2. This is a way to isolate the services of different departments. Then, in step two, VN traffic distribution is configured. The bandwidth allocation ratio between different VNs need to be specified. For example, the bandwidth allocation percentages of VPN1 and VPN2 are set to 10% and 40% respectively. Here, if traffic congestion occurs, bandwidth is allocated to VPN1 and VPN2 based on a ratio of 1 to 4. Once configuration takes effect, when PC1 sends 10 Mbps traffic to PC3 and VPN1, the network interface card traffic on PC1 is approximately 2 Mbps. NIC traffic on PC2 is approximately 8 Mbps. This is a bandwidth allocation ratio of 1 to 4. This demonstrates that the policy for distinguishing the bandwidth allocation percentages of different service VPN traffic has taken effect. The method for configuring an application traffic bandwidth guarantee is similar to traffic shaping, and it involves five steps. In step one, application identification needs to be enabled. Next, step two involves creating application groups. The application group App Voice IP is created and associated with the customized application Voice IP. The application group App IP Camera is also created. It is associated with the Service Awareness application Video Surveillance. In step 3, traffic classifier templates are created. The traffic classifier template Traffic Voice IP is created and associated with the application group App Voice IP. If both the source and destination IP addresses need to be controlled, an ACL can be used. Similarly, the traffic classifier template Traffic IP Camera is created and associated with the application group. Again, if both the source and destination IP addresses need to be controlled, an ACL can be used. Step 4 involves creating policy behavior templates. The 
policy behavior template behavior voice IP is created, and the outgoing traffic of a site is limited and set to priority one and a bandwidth of five Mbps. This preferentially guarantees the bandwidth of voice service traffic. Now the policy behavior template behavior IP camera is created. Here, outgoing traffic of a site is limited to a bandwidth of 10 Mbps, capping video security service traffic. In step 5, a queues policy is created and delivered to a site. The queues policy IM is created and bound to the policy behavior templates of the voice service, behavior voice IP, and video security service, behavior IP camera. Policy priorities are set to 10 and 20, respectively, in order to preferentially guarantee the bandwidth of voice service. The site where the policy behavior templates need to take effect is selected and configuration submitted. The queues policy takes effect at the site. What happens after configuration takes effect? When PC1 sends 20 Mbps IP camera traffic to PC3, the NIC traffic on PC3 only reaches 10 Mbps. The traffic shaping policy has taken effect. And when PC2 sends 5 Mbps voice IP traffic to PC4, the voice IP traffic preempts the bandwidth. NIC traffic on PC4 is approximately 5 Mbps and NIC traffic on PC3 falls to 5 Mbps. The application traffic bandwidth guarantee policy has taken effect. Huawei SD-WAN queues provides more guaranteed services for enterprise networks.